Before I start this episode, I just wanted to mention that I do stream most of this hardcore Iron Man content on Twitch. The link should be on the screen and in the description. In fact, if you're early to this episode, I will be putting it out right before going live. So if this was uploaded only maybe five to six hours ago max, I don't know how long I'll be live, but uh, you should see me there. Either way, if you want to see some of the live content, be sure to drop a follow on Twitch. So last episode clearly had some of the luckiest drops on this entire series. I figured I had to maybe one-up that with the first clip of this episode, so enjoy. Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh my god! Ah! I have no words. I have no words right now. Holy sh- let's go check KC. Dude, that is insanely early. Oh my god. How many shamans, dude? Who said 555? It'll be close. 505. Oh my god, I got it at 10% of the rate. Now that I have a blowpipe, I feel much more compelled to actually fight some gorillas, but unfortunately to fight gorillas, I have to do Monkey Menace 2. For some reason, I'm a little more nervous about the agility puzzle than I am anything else. I don't know why. We'll see. I definitely just messed up the agility puzzle on my my main way more than I did in the hardcore. I was pretty bad at it, and I, I don't think I had a light source the first time, so I died. I just remember dying on my main and feeling like that was going to be dangerous in the hardcore. But it really wasn't that big of a deal. I still have like all my food for for Kruk. I did have to take a couple trips. You'll notice a different Envy and setup from the first clip. Uh, I messed up a couple times, but I still I made it. I'm alive, still working on Monkey Madness 2. I did decide to use a safe spot for this fight because I just figured, uh, why not just play it safe? I probably could kill it no problem by, uh, actually fighting the thing, but I don't really care. I just want to get through this quest so I can go fight gorillas. I, I don't know. I'm ready to be done with it. I am so close to being out of food. Check this out. Come on, man. Don't make me teleport and try this again. I'll clearly get it. It's gonna be no problem. We'll be fighting gorillas in no time, but yeah, sweet. Sweet. Monkey Man is too complete. This means I can go fight some gorillas. I already have a Black Demon's task, so I'm going to go start fighting them and hope to get some Zenite Shards. I do need some crafting levels and some Onyxes to, to actually use Zenite Shards, but uh, I'm basically set up to fight gorillas. I figure I might as well start fighting them now rather than wait until I have everything but the Zenites. Alright, this is going to be a little awkward. Uh, very recently, Jagex came out with their first statement about third-party clients, and one of the things that was brought up was the Gorillas plugin that you're about to see me use. I did use it before it was banned, and uh, I ended up using it for the full task. I mostly wanted to use it because I hadn't fought Gorillas for probably a couple years now in the main, and figured, why not have some help and not die? I find it a little cumbersome, to be honest, and honestly, the, the plugin also doesn't work 100% of the time. It's mostly correct, but... I found myself taking melee attacks because I trusted the plugin rather than my own instincts a couple of times. But it's it's a banned plugin now. That's all there is to it. Just want to bring up that these happened before it was banned. I don't use it now. In fact, I can't use it now because Runelight took it off of, of Runelight. And anybody who might be upset that I was using the plugin because, I don't know, maybe it makes me a bitch. Maybe I can make up for it by getting really lucky. We'll see. Ballista Spring... Oh, feels bad, man. First unique from Gorillas is here. It's not a Zenite Shard, so it's not so good. It's alright, I mean, I'll cry off stream later. 57 KC. That doesn't make you shit. It means you enjoy your plugins. Dude! Speaking of plugins, they just got a fucking heavy frame. Well,. Like I said, what are you gonna do? I only got so many what are you gonna do's left. I was scammed for it, yeah, what happened? Oh my god, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Alright, everybody. That was my last what are you gonna do. Why, why wouldn't it be either? Oh! Ha! <sighs> I'm gonna teleport out. There it is. There it is, guys. Fifth unique of the day. Finally, the one I want! Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. You're losing me now. So you got it? No. Whew. 
Can anybody tell me what just happened? Somebody, three, two, one. I just got my second Zenite Shard. Da 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 da. Dude, 148 KC. I wasn't recording that one either. I gotta go get that clip. Somebody please be clipping it. <laughs> oh, I almost went to Zulra. Zulra, Zenite, Zulrite, whatever I'm trying to say. I almost went to Zulra after the fucking first Zenite Shard. I was like, I'll just leave for now. Here comes one of the most anticlimactic 99s on the account. I have been working on some plank make because I'm trying to get to construction sooner than later. I don't know if I'll actually be using the planks on this episode, but I'm about to get 99 magic, which is my last uh, combat stat other than prayer to get to 99. Also, this is going to help a little with Zulra life. I think I might have a higher max hit now. Maybe. I don't know. Just in general, it's nice to get 99 mage out of the way. Mage XP is definitely not... Uh, I'm not done with it. I have a lot of plans for some post-99 mage XP too. But that's a cool cape to get. I actually should go buy the cape sooner than later. I'll probably forget, but uh, it has a nice perk on it. I don't have to go to all the altars as often now, which I won't have to do once I get construction up. So maybe I should keep doing plank make. Now that I have a blowpipe, I am going to need a lot of darts. I have a decent amount of Addy bars right now, but um, I'll likely be headed to the blast furnace in a minute. So here comes 90 smithing though, the big 9-0. Uh, I figure with any level, once you're 90 plus, I don't know, it just looks pretty good in the, the stats section, but... 90 smithing doesn't give me too much. It really won't be too much of a jump to get 99 from here, but I'm, I'm not planning that anytime soon. Back on the note of Addy darts, though, I, I do need Addy bars, and I have a lot of Addy Orin coal, so I'm going to be hanging out at the blast furnace for a while. I'll end up going to make uh, the rest of the dart tips too, and I'll probably meet you guys again when attaching feathers to the dart tips. I have, as you can see, a little over 6,000 Addy ore. I don't quite have enough coal right now, though, but it's I'm going to be at, like, 55,000 Addy darts for now, which is going to take a long time to use in the blowpipe, so I'll be happy to finish this up. Now for the best part, when making darts, the actual dart making. I am going to be doing this in the underwater section, just hoping that some, uh, some seaweed spores would spawn here. I'm not going to lie, I thought I was pretty creative, thinking, well, why don't I just hang out here while I do it, because I've been doing a lot of seaweed runs. And really almost every seaweed run, I feel like I get a seaweed spore spawn. So I was like, man, I would get so many spawns if I hung out down here. I'm so creative. And then I realized that I've actually seen other people just hanging out down here for long periods of time and always was wondering what they're doing. I get it now. I get it. We're just waiting for spawns. I figure this is going to give me plenty of seaweed spores to get to, honestly, it's 94 crafting that I'm going to be going for in the long run. Well, I guess 99 in the long run. But for now, 94 crafting. This should be enough seaweed spores when I'm done with this and enough darts to, uh, I don't know, to last me a while, I imagine. I almost just said tree. Did I just die on my hardcore? Am I, am I high or is this still a red helmet? My heart is pounding right now. No? How would you do that? What do you mean? I could be very wrong, but not as far as I know. Dude, I got it! I just got it! Ah, man. This is like my fifth clip of the episode that I didn't actually record in time. Can I say, dude, I got it! Oh, it's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so nice. Oh my god. 269. Nice. KC Serpentine Visage. Let's go to the house. No more venom to kill me at my house and make me a scared, scared young man. I'm lost. They actually had a time restriction on it. Dude, I just got a jar of swamp. Dude, I just got a jar of swamp. Time sensitive. Thank you, guys. Can you... <laughs> now that you could tell... Oh, my God. I can't even come up with a good joke for this. Holy shit, dude. I just got a jar of swamp. Hey, hey! I think this is my first jar on the hardcore. I don't think I have any other jar. I don't care about the fact that I could get a two-kill trip. We're going to the bank. I definitely haven't put any in the house yet. Jar? I don't have any jars, right? No, just fucking impling jars. Wow, jar of swamp, first one on the hardcore. They're a little different when it comes to an account that you can't trade, because now if I have this display in my house, it proves that I got the jar. It'd be pretty cool. I'll definitely set it up one day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Onyx. Oh, it was right! Oh my god, I just did it! Oh my god, dude, did anybody see that? Holy shit! That was ridiculous! That, I, yeah, this account has just gone absolute fucking 
AWOL, dude. Holy shit! So I'm trying to make a Zenite, cut the Zenite, go to Edgeville, turn it into a ring. That's it. It's as simple as that. Okay. Give it a couple seconds to make sure the timer wasn't fucked up, and let's have at it. Oh, I got half a pies too. I forgot that it was. Yes, fuse them. Cut it. Oh, the Zenite ring. Just look at it. Look at its beauty. Oh, I don't even want to look. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it's just so beautiful. First piece of Zenite jewelry. Officially complete. Oh, man. I am back in the sandstone mine now that I've been getting a lot of seaweed. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually have enough cash to to buy my sandstone from this guy. I'm going to need to get some cash soon, but I just got 94 mining, which isn't super far off of 99. The last five levels are a lot of XP, but most of my mining has been trying to collect supplies, not trying to get XP. So at this point, when I finally pull the trigger on 99 mining, it's not going to be too bad, though I'm probably going to want to do rune crafting first because Azea, I don't know. I'm not doing mining immediately, so we don't have to discuss this right now. And I almost missed this clip of 85 farming, which means I just unlocked, I think I can grow torstals now, uh, Celastris trees, however the hell you say them. But that, that high level section of the farming guild means I can do high level farming contracts now, which is going to be pretty nice, I imagine, because I'll get some better seeds. I mostly want to keep collecting Hispori seeds. I actually have a handful saved up for the first time basically ever, but the more the merrier. I'm really looking for that compost bucket. Kind of back on the crafting note, I have been getting a lot of flax from Zulra. I've been doing a lot of unstrung bows and I eventually need uh, bow strings to attach them. So I will be doing some spin flax to help with crafting XP. Most of my crafting XP is still coming from the molten glass, but I do have a lot of banked flax and probably a lot more to come as I get a higher Zulra KC. So. I'll be knocking out some uh, some bowstrings, without a doubt. Just finishing up this first Celestris tree. Is it just Celestris? Is that how Celestial is normally spelled with an A? I don't know. Looks weird to me for some reason. Uh, it's my first one of those I've ever grown on the hardcore, and it was my first hard contract, which means this seed pack is hopefully pretty good. And I'll get another hard contract. Snape grass, really? I already have some Snape grass grown right now. That's so nice. But uh, first hard contract is that. What I think? Dude, a spirit seed? Get out of here. That was nice. No Hespori seed, but I'll take it. So I spent some time at my parents' house last weekend, which meant I had uh, worse internet, but it, they usually don't have, they don't have bad internet. I used to stream at that house. Like I've, I've been there before, but they had some connection issues. As you can see with this fight, it was actually pretty sketchy to kill this Hespori. It never really got me too low in HP. Uh, I didn't really think that I was going to lose the account, but it, it definitely was nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie. I probably could have made some better decisions on getting out of there, like bringing a, a house teleport just in case. And I, I could have gone to the uh, to the door and left as soon as I saw that it was laggy, but I didn't want to waste the seed. I, I risked it a little bit, and then uh, I ended up getting nothing from it that I needed anyway. And I'll end my skilling updates with some more farming. I got 85 in this episode, and honestly with Zulra and doing a lot of farming contracts, I've been getting a lot of seeds. So I'm going to be making a lot of saplings, and I'll start up my farming runs, my tree runs more, a little bit. Trees are the things I've been doing the least of, because I just don't have that many seeds. You catch up on seeds pretty quickly on the Iron Man if you do as many tree runs as you can. I don't want to do all of them though, because some of them might be asked for farming contracts. I want to save some saplings, especially like the Celestris. I, I probably don't want to check the health of those unless I get the contract because I only have like six seeds and they take half a day to grow anyway. But um, I am going to be trying to get some more tree runs in, maybe boost the farming level a little bit. Honestly, even if I could get 99 farming, I don't know. I definitely don't have enough seeds for that quite yet, but I could make a good jump towards it. And if I got 99, that cape is really helpful. So maybe I should be thinking about that sooner than later. This is going to wrap up this episode though, everybody. Tons of gains in this one, a good amount of skilling gains, and then maybe... The most luck I've had, even in the past three episodes, which have all been insane. From Cerberus, to Zulra, to Gorillas, and the, the Dragon Warhammer this episode. I don't know what to say. It's been nuts lately. We'll see if I can keep up the luck on the PVM side of things. And I've got more skilling gains to make in the next episode. So I hope to see you then.